The NFL playoffs can sometimes evoke literature, like last week's Thoreau reference, the Chiefs and the Steelers. But sometimes it can remind one of physics and Sir Isaac Newton's famous laws of motion. Tonight, the Chiefs meet the Buffalo Bills in the AFC Divisional Round. And Newton's third law might be the most pertinent as it pertains to this game. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Force meeting friction. The Bills and the Chiefs are arguably the two most formidable forces right now in the National Football League left in the playoffs. Balanced, talented, explosive, both the Chiefs and Bills. Last week, Buffalo quarterback Josh Allen was unstoppable with five touchdown passes. Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes was unstoppable, setting an all-time playoff record five touchdown passes in less than 12 minutes of game time. Bills Chiefs football physics in the divisional playoffs here at GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium. As much as I want to say week five was an anomaly and we have a totally different team, we had set six of the starting 11 defenders out of that game that's going to be here present tonight, I still had to carry some of it. I still had to carry some of it with me. So when I was coming up with my keys to victory for this game this evening, the first one brings me back to that week five game. And what sour taste was left in my mouth from that matchup was how the Bills established the tempo up front. How they came in with a concerted effort. They were willing to wear some flags. They were willing to get some penalties. They had 10 the entire game, but they had the most poignant ones early in the game. So my first key is that we have to flip the script and set the tempo in this game up front. As Harrison Butker, a captain and I, along with Tyron Matthew, and also Anthony Hitchens, the three Chiefs captains. It's the Chiefs and the Bills. Again, the home teams are 0-3 so far in the divisional playoff round. The Chiefs will try to change all that. He told me he can't even feel uh um, yeah. He won't he don't want eight no more. He won't uh one. Put him in that one, what? 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 Put him in that one, 37 degrees, barely a breeze, north at three miles an hour. It is a gorgeous night for football here in Arrowhead Stadium. And I'll tell you what, the fans are ready to go. Finally, the bright lights can come on here and the home fans can get ready for to go for this game. They've also done a great job defending the kingdom in the stadium tonight. A lot less blue jerseys than there were last week in the stands with Pittsburgh fans. So ready to defend the place and beat the Bills once again. Let's go.
skill in the backfield. They look to swing it to him. That's covered. Now Mahomes trying to keep the play alive. Into the pocket. Shifts to his left. He will scramble at the five. Let's it to him at the five front pylon. And what will they rule here? The officials confer. No signal given. They're going to say touchdown, Kansas City. Eight yard scramble by Mahomes. And this drive almost all Mahomes on scrambles. 7 and now 8 for a touchdown to potentially tie the game. Emmanuel Sanders is in the backfield with Allen, so it won't go. Back and throws Allen under pressure. He's hit! He's hit! Sam Ingram dives in on Allen and buries him at the 49-yard line. The Chiefs did not sack Josh Allen in the game in October. They get an 11-yard sack, and it was Melvin Ingram. Batman, Spider-Man. Duels in the history of the National Football League. Patrick 
Mahomes to Travis Kelsey on a push fade comeback. And the Chiefs have won this incredible divisional playoff game in overtime. The Chiefs thought they had it won. Then it looked like they had it lost. Then they looked like they had it won. Then it looked like they had it lost. Then they had it tied. Then they win the coin toss. And then they drive 75 yards and a touchdown. Eight plays, 75 yards. The Kansas City Chiefs are the first team in National Football League history to host four consecutive championship games in this incredible venue with a once-in-a-lifetime football game. The Chiefs win it in overtime, 42-36, to on an eight-yard pass from Patrick Mahomes to Travis Kelsey, tying it with 13 seconds to go and winning it on the first possession of overtime.